How many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. Y you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. It's well, only the one? Kill it. They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them, if you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off. What are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Well, they adhere to some patterns, like any animal, or human. I mean, like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. <laughs> Tips. Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something. Uh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. I can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changing the movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. Okay. Give it. Dang, the door is locked. I can't get in there. Even though I have no reason to. And dead Josh, probably. Damn it, what happened? Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh. Josh, he could still be out there. <laughs> First, the Wendigo. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. Again, he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. It's not very friendly. So stupid, dude. I didn't Run! Go! Yeah! Yeah! Probably got that dude killed, but I didn't move. Slow motion. That guy seemed alright too. I think we got him murdered. And there goes Josh somewhere. That's what you get for playing tr pranks on people. Oh my god, guys, thank god! What took you so long? It's not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. 
Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? No. What happened? The thing, it, uh, tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, God. All right. These are all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. M? What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? So uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody had been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Em? Em, what is... Huh? What is that? Ash. Em, oh my god, oh my god, it's, oh it's my nothing. god. It's oh nothing, no, it just, no, it, no, it no, bit no, me no. and... It bit you, what bit you? Is she gonna be a zombie now? The Wendigo. What? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. Are they zombies? from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. What, is that how it works? Yes. It happens if it bit you, you're gonna turn into one, and then you're gonna turn on us. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! You can't be down here with us. What? Mike! You gotta go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am! Emily, you can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do, and I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? Door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 Mike, calm down. You're... you're gonna shoot me? Like me? This is the safe room, M. <laughs> Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Don't. Not for us. Don't, don't do this. I'm really sorry. Really? No. No, that's how it works. Shit. Fuck, fuck. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon.
Yeah, that showed Mike not shooting her. No way you could have known that unless you don't shoot her, though. I never heard of Wendigos being like zombies, so I'm not sure what this freak out about the bite is all about. I thought that that he was gonna help us. Is a flamethrower, dude? Now we don't have a chance. No, but it just means we've gotta be tough. We've gotta do this on our own. Probably would have helped if you know that dumb mechanic wasn't in the game. Cannibalism. Because yeah, it says don't move, so I was this guy's a little OCD. staying still, but the controller also vibrates, so that also doesn't really help much. Cannibalism, blah de blah. Deep in the sacred mountain. There's a lot of history to this. Cannot see stillness. Feel no pain. Cannot that be cut or stabbed. From humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. Flamethrower. Try not to kill them. Death releases the spirit into the air. All these clues, though. Hold on, this talks about the bite? Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo, but the bite is harmless. Okay. So, we made the right choice, it seems. Oh, oh no, 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 no. What? No. What is it? What does it say? says that the bites, it, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um, it says she'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? Michael almost shot me, is that she fine? Didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair, she was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's None of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse please, for Emily, this. Please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> Dang. That was justified, though. I'm sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get to Mike. Like, now. We should probably take the gun with us, I don't know. I mean, seems like it might help. Oh, Joshua, you should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death, or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Hey, go ahead. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger! help someone else <laughs> remember last year huh how you left your poor sisters to die you did nothing to help them. paralyzed by your own self-centered fear while a real threat was closing in no it's all about you Josh it's always all about you has gone terribly wrong and your friends like your sisters have deserted you you're all alone can you feel how cold your loneliness has become huh? why did you hurt them Joshua why did you hurt them But of course you did. They were your friends. You misled them. You lied to them. You 
you put them through a night of genuine horror.